Genie or Restorative utilizes a unique resin filler chemistry to develop building blocks on a molecular scale. Currently, the particle size of conventional composites are so dissimilar to the structural sizes of hydroxyapatite crystal, the dentinal tubule, and the enamel rod. There is a potential for compromises and adhesion between the macroscopic restorative material and the nanoscopic tooth structure. However, nanotechnology has the potential to improve this continuity between the tooth structure and the nano-sized filler particle and provide a more stable and natural interface between the mineralized hard tissue of the tooth and these advanced restorative biomaterials. Preoperative view of defective composite restorations on the maxillary right premolars. In the restored tooth for cervical restorations, lateral flexure results from eccentric forces produce tensile stresses at the marginal interface of the restoration, whereas heavy eccentric forces generate compressive stresses along the marginal interface of the cervical restoration. These repeated flexural forces can cause adhesive failure of cervical composite restorations at the dentin resin interface, which can result in microleakage, partial or complete debonding of the restoration. Therefore, an occlusal equilibration is performed to eliminate the premature occlusal deflective contacts. After shade selection, the teeth are isolated using Liebenberg's modified dam technique and sealed and secured with a spot of cyanoacrylate. A retraction cord is placed to gain adequate access to the gingival margin and to control curvicular fluid during the adhesive procedure. This double cord packer TN010 instrument by Garrison Dental Solution is ergonomically designed to facilitate the placement procedure. A scallop chamfer preparation is placed approximately three millimeters in depth around the entire cavity using the number 6850 tapered diamond burr by Brassler. The remaining intact composite restoration is removed with a scaler and the preparations are completed. A 0.5 millimeter bevel is placed in the enamel around each cavity preparation to reduce the potential for microleakage. A self-etch adhesive genial bond is applied to the enamel and dentin of each preparation with an applicator tip, allowed to dwell for 10 seconds and air dried with an ADEC warm air tooth dryer for 5 seconds and light cured for 10 seconds. The initial layer of A1 shaded genial universal flow is applied to the axial wall of the preparations with a syringe tip and uniformly distributed and adapted with a round tipped instrument and M1 by American Eagle and light cured for 10 seconds. A second layer of A1 shaded flowable is applied with a syringe tip. Notice the material does not stick to the genial syringe tip as the material is extruded and distributed. The material is adapted with a long bladed instrument. It is important to anticipate the final enamel layer, not to overbuild the dentin layer, but monitor the artificial dentin layer from the incisal aspect. The material is smoothed with a number two sable brush to the beveled enamel to allow for an optimal integration of the material with tooth structure and each preparation is light cured for 10 seconds. Notice the viscosity and stability of the material on the brush. This allows for precise placement. For the final enamel layer, I use an AE shaded genial universal flow and sculpt the material with a double lot sable brush. An ideal emergence contour can be developed if adequate space remains in this enamel zone and the material is light cured for 10 seconds. This same procedure is accomplished on the second premolar. The material is thixotrophic. This allows the material to structurally break down so it flows through the syringe tip when the material is stressed and then the hydrogen bonding restructures and it becomes more viscous. Notice the ideal sculptability I call it controlled fluidity. Uno and Asmussen suggest using a slower polymerization, which causes an improved flow of molecules in the material, decreasing the polymerization shrinkage stress in a restoration. This technique may reduce marginal gap 
improve marginal integrity while reducing shrinkage, according to Mel, Sagaguchi, and Santos. Utilizing incremental layering of these next generation flowables, such as Genial Universal Flow, improve the marginal integration. Reports by Yamazaki, Chi, and Felix indicate that the use of an incremental layering technique resulted in significantly less microleakage compared to the use of bulk technique, which indicates this layering technique with these next generation flowables is effective in improving marginal sealing at the interface. By anticipating the required artificial enamel dimension when developing the artificial denton layer, a final artificial enamel layer of AE shaded genial universal flow can be integrated to achieve an optimal anatomical emergence form and color. I use a small amount of composite primer by GC on the tip of the brush. This facilitates adapting and smoothing the flowable material while developing the emergence contour. And it also improves the smoothness of the restorations. And light cure for 10 seconds. Finishing and polishing directly affect the aesthetic qualities of color and gloss of directly placed composite restorations while increasing their longevity. Finishing is accomplished with a DET3 needle-shaped diamond finishing burr by Brassler. It is important to reflect the gingiva with a number eight instrument by Euphredi to prevent tissue laceration. A long tapered eight micron DET6 finishing diamond by Brassler is used to finish the coronal interface and maintain the natural anatomic facial contour. Initial polishing is accomplished with a rubber hollow cup which allows any surface defects to be effectively eliminated. This hollow cup provides additional flexibility for the curvature of the premolars. Any excess polymerized resin material is removed from the interface using a number 12 BD Bard Parker scalpel blade. A high luster is accomplished using a loose abrasive diamond composite polishing paste with an enhanced synthetic foam cup and a small amount of water. The definitive polish and surface reflectivity is accomplished with diamond polishing paste and a soft white goat hair brush from the Sarashine kit by Brassler. After rinsing and drying the enamel surface, a final polishing surface gloss is achieved by using a dry cotton buff with an intermittent staccato motion. Natural light dynamics are evident in the definitive direct resin restorations using Genial Universal Flow. The completed class 5 composite restorations with enhanced smoothness, color, and a harmonious integration of form, function, biocompatibility, and aesthetics at the Dento Gingival Complex. And a three month review demonstrates the continued polishability, the durability of this polish, and this material's ability to simulate the optical properties of the natural tooth. The polishability of this nanoparticle composite, Genial Universal Flow, can be attributed to these advancements in filler technology, a 200 nanoparticle size, and the reduced interparticle spacing. Advancements in composite resin technology continue to improve the practice of dentistry. As we compare the old and the new in history, only evolution of time can provide the answers of knowledge, wisdom, and truth. Knowledge of a concept of the past and a desire to create are limited by the materials clinicians have available to them for restorative procedures. Continuing technological breakthroughs allow the clinician to not only comprehend the building blocks of the ideal composite restoration, but also to implement and maximize the potential of new materials to attain more predictable and aesthetic results. While new ideas and concepts continually flood the marketplace, one should not discount the power a new product may have on a plan, design, or a procedure. These developments promise to simplify the clinical applications for aesthetic and restorative techniques and ultimately improve the level of health care provided for the contemporary dental patient. Since only the passage of time can provide the answer to the success of a material, future clinical trials will be required to determine the destiny of this unique resin formulation, Genial Universal Flow.